the floor on Bryson's earth bag bedroom. Now we need some power. Garen uses solar panels, however, we need more panels if we want to add Bryson's room to it. Last year we purchased for Garen's room two solar panels, two batteries, and a full kit to do that inversion to AC. Yeah, and it was kind of our first test of getting solar. In a bigger scale. We can't afford to buy it for like the whole house, but we thought we would just start with the little mm -hmm. the little rooms. Because he's been running a um, little over a year on that now, mm -hmm. and so it was a good test for us to see how it would do. And it actually has done really well with the exception of he cannot run his 3D printer over there. I think the 3D printer would run for like six or eight hours, and that was the problem is it took a big drain. Knowing that we had to increase Garen's room by one more panel, we just added four panels. Three yeah, because Bryson has a 3D printer as mm -hmm. well. Okay, we have our panels. And our batteries are tucked under here, deep down in we the We have four room. panels and four batteries. Yes. And then some cable-y things that connect them. There's the store, too. Oh, yes. Right there's that store. Yes, that is the solar. He's got a new sign. He didn't have that last time. Yes. Right, let's head home. Hook them up. Yes, let's do. Gary will increase our current system from two panels to six panels. He installs two poles with supports angled 32 degrees towards the sun. Garen picked an angle somewhere between summer and winter. We purchased brackets that are designed to connect the rails. Are you teasing the pig? The structure is in place. Time to slide in the additional panels. It's a one-to-one -one ratio from panels to batteries. Garen attaches it using specific connectors for the panels. We need a little thicker wire to handle the power coming in from six panels, so I'm going to replace this wire here, put a little bit heavier gauge stuff in. Was it right six there. gauge? Yeah, we're putting six in. And what is that? Oh, it's probably like 10 gauge. You gonna come in and help me dig? Oh boy. Diesel doesn't leave Garen's side and tries to help wherever he can. So that's the six gauge that's come under the building. Electricians, look away, please. Don't see my beautiful handiwork. Okay, so the white one went you up to this, six gauge? I and don't the black white. one, and the black one then okay. is going up there. This thing can take up to six panels. So, Garen, how did you wire these in? Okay, so we have six panels. Three and three is what we've kind of separated into groups. And the reason is the we get too many amps through. running through the little wire that we have. So we can't have six panels running through the littler wires. We take and we wire two sets of three panels into one box and we wire them into a big six gauge wire under the ground and that will go straight into the control panel. Because all my wires coming out of here are black and they're not labeled, I'm just gonna check them on a volt multimeter here. You can check, you know, which, which ones are which. So these are coming out of two sets of three panels. You don't wanna touch any of these together because these are all hot, you know, because of the sun. It's not like you can turn the sun off. it out because the cob, the box is way back here and the, the building came way out here. So the cap won't fit on correctly. So. Our system is 24 volt, 
So we buy 12 volt batteries in sets of two. Okay, so he has six batteries here. And he wired two of these together with minus to plus with a jumper. Then he took and ran the two plus and minus over to a main jumper that connects to all the other batteries. He just took plus to minus on each pair of these batteries. There are three pairs here of 24 because each one of these batteries are 12 volts. He wires them together. Connect this. I'm gonna check the voltage, make sure that it is 24 volts coming out because um, otherwise you can get, you know, if you wire them all, all together, which I may have done first, you get, you know, like 75 volts out of this thing. You only need 24. So yeah, we're right on. Right on 24. Then he takes the 24 volts and connects it to the main cables, which go up to here. All right, cool. the perfect amount of wire. We didn't even cut this, like it was just the perfect roll. So it comes out here, from the building, up to that building, right there and goes in. And Diesel, he's watching, and he's learning, and he is ready to help. Can you help me out? He was, he was laying in the ditch a few minutes ago, yep. How can you always be on my way, Kurt? <laughs> Looks so beautiful, Garen. It does. Okay, so you're just wiring black to black, white to white. Yeah. And then that funky color to the... the ground. Oh, that's the ground, okay. That looks pretty good. Putting in this 20 amp breaker. So you got one breaker for your room, and now you'll put the same 20 amp in for Bryson? Yes. It is 12 too, and it's outdoor. Yeah. And that's what you ran from here over to Bryson's room. Oh, it's gonna turn on. See you have lights. Wait. Shut it off, we don't have power. And we know mine has power. Maybe something on, on hook. You have a wire that's not connected up in here. Watch it. No I juice. see no juice. And that maybe it's the breaker. So it's the breaker. The brand new breaker. Oh, I see what Check it is. Check the bus. Oh. Okay, we should have power now. We just in the wrong slot. Yeah. Very hilarious. The solar panels and batteries are separate from the building costs, since it's optional. Last year, our budget for the initial system was three grand. This year, we didn't need to purchase the inverter, which was half the cost. We budgeted 2,500 for the four solar panels and four flooded batteries. Part of homesteading is moving off of the grid, and that gives us the independence of our own power. It, it is our goal to be completely off grid, but um, it's not very practical for us right now. So we're just taking small steps mm -hmm. to get there. Well, a bedroom's not supposed to take a crazy amount of power. Except for when you have two sons like ours that like to, you know, just... Have each bring... have 3D printers who want to print for hours on end. So we got six panels going for just those two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting now, a year from now, to see, hey, you know, could we run those 3D printers? It's time! Stay tuned next week as we get Bryson cameled up and moved in. If you want to see the video on Garen's solar setup, you can click here. There will also be a link down in the description. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just trying to picture that in a sentence. Oh, I think yeah. energizes is electrifies. <laughs> like, <laughs> adds two poles with tilts at the top. <laughs> Subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. If you like what you see, please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Okay. That's good. Oh, Diesel, you got your mouth trapped. <laughs> oh, he's trying to do it again. <laughs> oh, he's doing it on purpose. <laughs>